God, my ass. My bones are cracking from lugging this load. Step it up. I gotta catch that feast on time. Hear me out. They say that hag has a quirky ways. Each season she'd wed a mate and devour him. Once our lady brought her a wedding gift. A mirror. A past echo. Which? The past echo. The lady often speaks of it with regrets. I wonder why. Let me finish, will you? The hag got the mirror and looked into it, and for no reason at all, she threw it away. That soured our lady's mood. She stopped visiting since then. Gibbering and jabbering. Couldn't even catch a wink of sleep this whole time. What? Who's in there? How dare you spoil the gift from her who's <laughs> You come down and join us. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Leaving so soon? Why the shyness? <laughs> Hold your monkeys. <laughs> Let me fix you up a little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, welcome, good sirs. The feast is all set. Please come in and be our guests. Gentlemen, you're fashionably late. Is your lady not joining us again this time? Uh, our lady uh, prefers not to be seen in the lower realm. Uh, but she's been thinking of you all and sent this small token. She hopes your lady will recover soon and pay her visit up there. <laughs> It's a pity she didn't come. Or she would certainly enjoy a splendid show we've prepared for her. <laughs> but now, the gift's gone and blood's been shed. I say, you two should take the fall. We're just servants, madam. What's the jest? <laughs> I know you find your look embarrassing, but why hide from my mother with another pig face? <laughs> Rude girl. Don't you know I'm a pious Buddhist? Give me your mother's name, and I'll check my list. You heartless ass. After you ruined her house and her reputation, you're telling me you don't remember her. Reputation? Ha! <laughs> Yao Guai's care about reputation. All she cared about was lust. Now I know. You're one of her spiderlings, aren't you? <laughs> 
Well, well. Your rudeness is forgiven. Show some respect. Maybe I'll kindly pay your mother a visit. <laughs> visit or not, I'm afraid that is not your call. <laughs> Human skin can't change your gross nature! Uh, yeah, uh, sure. We are so low compared to you, a glorious admiral of the court. Ain't the last monkey still fresh in his grave? And here you are, another monkey sidekick. Cut your bullshit! Get your mother to beg for mercy, and maybe I'll spare your foolish life! <sighs> Truth is, the thing you seek is right here in the hollow. Flee now if you're too scared to come in. Scared my hoof! I'll destroy this rotten hole right now! Let's see where else you'd build your lair! I heard there's a great treasure hidden within. You seem smart. Why don't you take a chance inside? Talisman. Those old rascals. <sighs> On your feet already, are you? Best keep clear of this mess. It's for your own good. Go find the pig before it's too late. I've laid your path for you, but where will my path be? From now on, we're both on our own. <sighs> Tell me, monkey, what's it like out there, beyond these mountains?
pasta. Hurry, hurry! They're here! So excited about the wedding. Been dreaming about yours. You <laughs> brat. Dead. <laughs> Come here. Stop it. I take it back. Hey, look, the groom is here. Apologies for keeping you waiting, sisters. Wow, is he really the one Mother's been expecting? I thought he would look better. He's not much to look at. But as long as Mother is happy. Not much of a looker. But quite a fighter, though. Had to use Mother's ancestral vessel to take him down. Still aching. Aren't you diligent? Such a rare catch. Why not let us sisters have it first? Think before you talk. This is the one mother is set on. One scratch. And none of us would like the results. What would this marriage change? We are bound to this ill place one generation after another. Even you like this farce. Go. Go ahead and watch. Sisters. The feast is yet to start. Don't tell me you're drunk already. Right, he's nothing but mother's meal. No need to make a big fuss over him. Here, he is all yours. You've done great. Wait. Mother has grown soft with age. And the girls are too young to know better. But can't you see it's all wrong? Yes, but try to think from her position. We're her children. This is what we do. But I am on her side. For decades, she's been tortured by her wound, all thanks to this dumb thing. And yet, she still wants to marry him. No! I can't do this anymore. Love is not about forgiving or getting even. It is never a fair game. It's about two souls woven together by fate. But I... Neither of us was born then. We never witnessed her past. That's why we can't understand her obsession today. Have you told Uncle? Let's worry about that later. Though her joy is borrowed, it's still joy before it's returned. You, come with me. Ahead is Mother's chamber. Now listen carefully for your own good. Mother is usually nice. Only she prefers to dine alone. You wouldn't want to disturb her. And don't look at her in the face, especially her eyes. Hurry, we are running out of time. My words, keep them in mind. Go, there's no time to waste. Dredge up the past. Aren't we here now? Don't you remember how I spared your life when he asked me to clean up the rest of your sisters? <laughs> I do remember. And more than that, I even remember how I survived on my sister's flesh after you left. 
That's not all on us. The culprit is that centipede. All would have lived if he didn't weigh my master's flesh over your lives. Yes, he was blinded by greed. But he has repented and made his compensation. He even offered that thing to sustain my life. Otherwise, I'd never live to see you today. My dear, is that true? That thing is in your hands. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Even now in your heart, the monkey still comes first. The monkey? Nah, for me, beauty always comes first. <laughs> Good. Carry on with these nice words. Once I'm satisfied, I might lift my finger and tell you where to find it. You wicked hag! Can't you see your old face? Still obsessed with all this lovey-dovey crap at this age? Ridiculous! <laughs> Every day trapped in this hollow, I missed and dreamed waiting for the day to eat you right after we mate, so I can heal. Then eat! Could have saved me from your stupid ceremony and vows! What a farce! Turf! Oh. <laughs> My appetite is lost. Not just for you, but also for her. <gasps> Hideous spider, who fathered such a thing? Your fate today has nothing to do with me. I had my mercy misplaced, that's all. <sighs> what took you so long? I almost died. Now oh, go quick, your this hag, and get me down. <clears throat> Monkeys, the bane of my life. <clears throat> Why do you always have to ruin my plans? In what way am I any less than monkeys? This monkey that you love. I'll chop his heart, slice his liver, and make you eat him! Please. You must save me! Uh, uh, so, both my trap and my vessel failed. But how? When I saw him, I... I just couldn't... The destined one then arrived and bested me. Now the monkey has ransacked our hollow. A mere monkey showing such disrespect. Your wound was recovering. But now it's getting worse. Fear not. I'll deal with him. But before that, that thing of mine, do you still have it? I, I do. Very well. Despite all your failures, you led the destined one here. I shall reward you for that. But the thing I gave you, now I must have it back! Him. 
So free me of Kunlun's reign. Rest assured, darling, I'll avenge you. Now let go of your misery and rest in peace.逐渐的搅动，月光在西别的城楼，思念是眉间的。
有你相伴，这一路多么多么。从立春到立秋，在那一刻，我爱上你的所有。哇哦，是心田的狗。指引是相拥无言，愿天黑化到你，从未说不Not in wisdom. You've not only hurt Bajia and his darling, but also laid waste to the seal of the High Ones. A grave misdeed. Mortal or immortal, all seek to break from the past and start anew. Yet destiny, like a lover's tongue, speaks one way and means another. Though you may savor it yourself. You can never tell if you truly want it or not. The posts of the court have stood unchanged, but the same seat might not always be held by the same immortal. So too the seven spider guys; they boast an endless procession of generations. Long ago, the many-legged one was subdued by Bodhisattva Pilanpore and locked on Purple Cloud Mountain. Only by a plea from the celestial court was he spared. The immortals dispatch minions to enact their will, while they remain serene, as if playing a game of chess. Pity those pawns; they know full well what they are, 
yet they cling to false hopes and even take pride in it. This one must be a high immortal from the court. Amid the trials of the seven spiders and the many-eyed one, it was Bodhisattva Pilanpur who lent a hand. No aid from the court was given. But Wukong is ever heedless of rules. He might have sought higher places for help. This rooster is Pilanpur's son, the Dawn Star, he was called. Through him is forged the Weaver's Needle, the one that subdued the many-eyed master. More than that, he once crowed a giant she-scorpion to death. Indeed, he is a bane to all insects. Ah. Even the sacred gourmand remains mundane if he clings to the ties of love. He was an admiral of the court, a pig in the mountains, and Bajia in the journey. Yet his nature remains unchanged. <laughs> so be it, a guileless fool may know less sorrow. <laughs>